Hello and welcome to Fully Charged. No, it's not an episode of Bob the Builder, it is just me with a digger. Safety belt first. Won't work without the safety belt. This is an electric digger, 100% electric digger from JCB. Uh, I've been using it this morning to uh, start trenching in my garden. I've wrecked my front garden already. Turn it on. The reason that the digger is here is one, because it's amazing and it's an electric digger, but two, I am installing three-phase electricity into my house. Close down the arm. That racket, oh, deafening, is the pump starting up. But in order to do that, I've got to dig a trench and lay a conduit, which is a, a flexible plastic tube with a rope inside it, and that has to go about 33 metres across the garden and into the garage. And once that's buried, they can then come with the cable and they pull the cable through with the rope, and it'll all be cushy. <laughs> this, this is a real first for me. So I'm very used to now driving an electric car and talking about it while I'm using it. I'm not that used to driving diggers and I have to use a bit of my brain that isn't normally used to operate a digger. Basically, it's got to be 550 millimetres or 55 centimetres, which is approximately 21 inches. And actually, most of it is over two feet deep, so which is uh, 60 mil hundred millimetres or 60 centimetres. <laughs> I'm old. I was taught inches and feet. I've got to go that way. And then when I'm up there, I've got to dig that way. It's not as easy as it looks, this digging malarkey. So the difference between operating this digger and a diesel one is extraordinary. <coughs> it's nothing to do with how long it takes to charge or how long it lasts, just the actual operation of it. As you can tell, I'm just talking normally. And it, this is as much noise as it ever makes. Very quick story, which I heard from the guy who delivered the, the digger, Nick, uh, from JCB. There's one working at the moment in a basement of an old hotel that's being refurbished in Birmingham. And they were originally using a diesel digger and they couldn't, each operator couldn't work on it for more than half an hour because it's inside a building. So they've got a digger inside a building, it's digging up an old concrete floor. The, so the operator had to sit in the, there and then another guy who was being paid the same had to walk around behind him with an extractor tube that was pumping the diesel outside which really says a lot about diesel doesn't it and so they were having to pay two people to work those shifts they had six operators working in shifts to do this digging and then JCB took one of these electric diggers down there and now there's one guy working on it seven hours a day no problem at all he plugs the, the digger in at night because there's electricity in a building yes there's electricity in this building. This was charged yesterday. I charged it overnight. It uses the same amount of power as a toaster. It's not a lot. But I've been using it already for two hours today and the fuel gauge has gone down by like that much. Oh, that was a nice scoop. So Bob, I've uh, got to tell you, I'm really enjoying using this digger. You just turn it on. It, it does go, it, the really loud noises, the beep, to tell you it's on. Yeah. Then it's, it is amazing. So it's a really impressive piece of kit. I'm really impressed with it. Well, you, you picked it up because the beep would put that in, because otherwise you wouldn't know, you wouldn't that, know that, it's that, on. that the thing's yeah. empowered. Yeah. So once you've done all the safety checks, the pod's down and yeah. we're ready to go, you need to know that the motor's running because if you pull the joysticks, it it's away and it'll dig. Right, yeah. E even with, you know, really quite low pump speed. Yeah. I'm Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? No. He hasn't got a clue, but he knows some clever people who could. <laughs> so let's go from the basics. So it's got, it's got uh, lithium-ion batteries. Yep. And this one 
has we has four four packs four yeah, packs yeah. so they're five kilowatt hours each yeah, yeah. right so on this machine we we, um, we offer a three pack machine at right. fifteen kilowatt hours and that's by far and away to do a normal day's work for most people right you know this is a one ton machine it's, this is a typical duty for it but it could be equally at home in your cellar or something yeah. you know you know putting in a new main or whatever but this is a, a four pack uh, twenty kilowatt hour right. machine I definitely can't fix it I could make a right mess Bob the builder can he screw it up in a right and make a right mess of his garden. Yes, he can. There's been lots of comments I've already had as they only run for two hours. And I know, well, you've checked on the, on the telematics on this. So what have I, I've done one yeah, hour. Yeah, you go early, you go before me this yeah. morning. So when I was having my cornflakes in yeah. bed, I could see that you were at it. Yeah. So well done you. <laughs> and you've done 1.9 hours so 1. far. 1.9 hours. And, and we did say 89%. 89%. I think we can safely say it runs for longer than two hours. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah, somewhat. You'd have, yeah. To be go you'd have to be going flat out, yeah. tracking. Up a so hill. <laughs> well, yeah, indeed. This is how you recharge a digger, just in case you're ever wondering about it. So I put that one on there. <coughs> that locks on there. Then I get an extension cable, 13 amp capable, not wound up. Very important. And it's got a knot in it. <laughs> and it's charging. When I charged it last night, it was pulling about 1.8 kilowatts. But they do have a fast charging capable digger, the same size digger, this would take literally about eight hours to charge overnight. With the fast charger, it takes two hours to fully charge it. But what is so obvious is that it lasts forever. I'm knackered. I've been digging all day and we're nowhere near. It's, it's not even, it's about a, a quarter empty. I've used about 25% of the battery. So you can dig it with this machine for seven hours easily it, with a break. You know, you have lunch, you have a little sit down because it's tiring. You've got to really concentrate. So that's, that's it. You just leave it like that and then in the morning it's full again you can start again which i'll be doing <laughs> why did i say i put in three phones <laughs> because we do a lot of stuff about electric yeah, yeah. cars lots of people are asking what the range is yeah. i think they were joking <laughs> oh are you going to drive one from land's end to john de groats i thought i think it'd take about two and a half years because what i mean it's maximum <laughs> speed is what four four kph yeah, something like that yeah 4.7 k i think it is 4.7 kph so you don't go to the shops in it no no that's, no, not, that's not, not what it's for the controls and all that stuff is identical to a diesel one. You know, yeah. For people who've never driven one. They're all the controls just like a diesel, right. except you don't have the the noise yeah. and, and for the operator, really important the yeah. noise business, but the power is there, you know, at least the equal of the diesel. You were saying to me as someone who was operating one on a street and you, when they're digging on a street like that they have a banksman which is a great term but that's someone who's watching where the bucket's going yeah, uh, keeping yeah, an eye on sure. it in case yeah. you're damaging yeah. existing infrastructure but with a diesel one that's always a problem because you've got to shout and it's noisy but with this you can, yeah. I mean, you can whisper to someone and they can hear you yeah it? it's great i mean we were watching uh, one of our customers using it it was a water authority drive right. in yorkshire and you know it's quite evident that the guy, when, he, when he's near the water main, he, he can hear it. If he's hitting the steelwork, he's right, touched the valve or something like that. Yeah, you, you, know, would, you would be aware of it. And that's just new territory. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, have any idea of the cost savings in terms of fuel use? I mean, um, I presume there, is, there are some. Yes, the running costs are about 50% typically. So, right. I mean, you don't pay um, um, duty on, well, on, on, the fuel, on, yeah. on construction fuel anyway. Right. But nonetheless, you know, the typical industrial rates for buying electricity, the, the, the costs are between 50 and 60% um, right. 
cheaper uh, uh, you know, electric versus diesel. And then That's in terms the of, because I'm just wondering how similar they are to electric vehicles, because the other big saving with electric vehicles, it's really only becoming apparent now we've had them for long enough to say, they don't need as much servicing, or the servicing yeah, they do have is much cheaper. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm yeah, wondering. So we're saving uh, oil change on, yeah. the, on the diesel engine and obviously oil filters. So the, uh, the the cost savings on 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 servicing General maintenance are, are, are significant. Be, yeah. Also for for the machine operator. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, uh, yes, it's only that bit, isn't it? It's the engine and the pump. From the, from the point of view of the connection between the engine and the pump, the rest yep. of the digger is identical yeah, to absolutely. a diesel one. It, so it, it, it very much, and uh, you know, it's yeah. it's it's robust, familiar territory for the operators, and, and, and you know, it's proven technology. Right. So the the battery, cells yeah. are made in Sunderland. Are you kidding? And the battery packs are, are, are British too. Right. The, the, the battery is, is supplied by a British company right. adjacent to Sunderland um, right. up, up there. It's this is this you know this technology that's been developed on the back of the motor industry. Yeah. That, that's what I'm getting at. And the motor, I'm delighted to say that's English, and it, right. it, it's King good motor as well. That's a really efficient, and, and it was uh, really it was one of the unlocking technologies. So it's English yeah. technology or British technology. Yeah. I, I think there's some mileage in that. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of pleased about that. A lot of comments so far about diesel generators charging these. Obviously, a lot of building sites they don't have power in remote. Uh, locations and so they're using diesel gen sets to generate the power to charge that and a lot of people have been going oh my god that's so hypocritical that's how zero emissions is that it's not zero emissions there's going to be a lot of building sites where there is power mains power which means that this is an incredibly clean digger but there are going to be locations obviously where you have to use a diesel gen set there are brilliant solutions already of solar powered and battery packs in containers that are being used on building sites which would power this thing in without any trouble at all I think it does it. I mean, do you see in the future JCB developing other electrified machinery? I mean, is that in the long term? Well, I, I think it's inevitable, especially um, for certain certain areas. You know, um, urban work. Yeah. Working site foot factories. You know, in, right. indoor work or in tunnels, that sort of thing. You know, there's a real pull now. Yeah. But you could envisage. Other products, you know, right. we might be working on them, but you know, I'm, I, I you can't, can't talk say about now. stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah, but you, you could envisage that other products will, will be electric, and, right. and and it is the way of the future. Obviously, I've got a lot more time on the digger. I've got a big job to finish. Got to get on with it. I really want to thank JCB for loaning this digger. It is absolutely remarkable. Uh, one of the things we just checked uh, on the telematics, which tells you exactly how much you've been using the digger, how, what the battery is. Uh, we've done uh, three and a bit hours digging and the battery is at 80%. So I think it's going to last longer than two hours because otherwise I'd have had to be recharging it now. It's an amazing piece of kit. They're obviously developing it very seriously. It's not an experimental thing. This is in production. There's diggers like this all over the world already. And they're really popular both with the operators and the people who run the diggers because they're cheaper to run. Don't tell anyone. Please do uh, subscribe to Fully Charged to see more electric digger episodes and even occasionally an electric car or something else. And uh, if, if you're a Patreon supporter, massive thanks to you. Um, there's a link for Patreon beneath this video. Uh, that's all. As always, if you have been, thank you for watching.